Welcome to Rams Report. I'm Danny Kleppinger alongside Team Insider Miles Simmons. Football is back. I've yes. been waiting. I'm so excited to be able to say that. We've been patiently waiting for training camp. It's finally here. So today, Miles and I are going to talk about what fans can expect when they come to Rams Park for training camp and the top storylines to follow in the upcoming weeks. So first, it may seem like a basic question, but it's an important one. Miles, where do fans park when well, they come to Rams Park? It's actually very easy to get to Rams Park. It's just off of 70 at 270. So all you need to do is come in, and when you're going off the Earth City Expressway, you make a right onto Rams Way, and then there's people there that will help you, direct you to a parking spot. It's very simple. It's very easy. You're then right across the street from the facility. You'll walk right over. You'll get checked in, and then you'll be able to watch practice. It's really great. And while they're at practice, they aren't going to go hungry, are they? No, they're not. There's good food options. There's nachos. There's candy. But the big ticket item, at least to me, Danny, is beer. It's $5 beer. There's $5 Bud Light, Bud Heavy, and Bud Select. So you're going to be able to come in and drink the Budweiser that you know you should have at any NFL event. Good stuff there. Here's a look at the training camp dates that are open to the public. Merchandise is for sale, so you can pick up your latest Rams gear. And also remember that admission to training camp is free, so come one come all. Miles, I think it's pretty obvious that one of the main storylines and position battles in training camp this season is the offensive line. So many new faces looking to fill some spots. Yes, there are, Danny. And what we already do know is that, you know, you've got a couple guys who are going to be there from last year. That's Greg Robinson at left tackle and Roger Saffold at left guard. But then, as you said, the other spots are pretty open for competition. At center, there's going to be a three-way competition between Barrett Jones, Tim Barnes, and Demetrius Rainey. All three of those guys were rotating in at OTAs. But then on the right side, you've got Rob Havenstein and then Jamon Brown, who are both rookies, but will have a chance to win those spots at right tackle and then right guard. So it's going to be interesting to see how they do, not only in practice, but then also in those preseason games how they're going to go up against live competition. It is going to be interesting to see how that shapes up. Nick Foles is a shoe in for QB1, but who will be his backup? There's healthy competition there among the other three quarterbacks. Yes, there are. And those three quarterbacks then are Austin Davis, Case Keenum, both of whom were with the Rams last year. And then you've also got the newcomer, Sean Mannion. Now, the Rams drafted him in the third round. And when you have a guy who is a third rounder at quarterback, you're probably going to see him make the roster. So then that's going to be the thing. Are the Rams going to keep two quarterbacks or are they going to go with three and then that's where that competition will be between Austin Davis and Case Keenum. Both of them have starting experience in the NFL and both of them can then bring that to that backup position. Another player fans should look forward to seeing at training camp is first round draft pick Todd Gurley who has been placed on the active roster for training camp. Yes he will start out training camp on the active roster. There had been some conversation as to whether that would be happening you know exactly at the start of camp whether he or not he would be placed on that non-football injury list. Well, he will not. He passed his conditioning test with flying colors, according to general manager Les Snead. And now he will be ready for the start of camp and to participate at the start of camp, which obviously is a huge thing for that running back room in general. But even with the health of Todd Gurley, I don't think we should discount the contributions of Trey Mason, who rushed for 765 yards last year as a rookie. That was number two overall in the NFL for rookies. So he's gonna be an important cog in that wheel in the running back room. And then also you've got a guy like Benny Cunningham who proved that he can be a very effective third down running back. And that's both in terms of blocking and in terms of making catches out of the backfield. So it's gonna be a pretty talented running back room coming into camp. Definitely a group you want to watch. Another group you want to pay attention to is the linebackers because there is a position battle going on there, especially for the Sam linebacker spot. Yes, with Akeem Ayers and Jolon Dunbar. Now, when the Rams signed Akeem Ayers back in the, the early part of that free agency period, you know, he, Fisher said that this was a guy that they really targeted, that they wanted to bring on here to compete for that spot at linebacker. Now, he has some familiarity with both Frank Bush, linebackers coach, and then also defensive coordinator to Greg Williams from their time spent in Tennessee together. But now you also have a situation with Jolon Dunbar where you know, he has been very effective for the Rams in the time that he's been here. He played 15 games last year. He started 10 of them. You know, he had five quarterback pressures and 52 tackles. So this is not just some pushover competition, right? It's going to be a good competition between those two linebackers, and it should make the defense better. A lot of talent for Frank Bush to evaluate there. I'm excited to see that unfold. Now, if you want more in-depth position breakdowns, check out my 
Miles' Countdown to Camp series on the website. It's there where you can find all the players competing for the 53-man roster. That's all we have for you today. Thanks for watching. We're excited to see you out at training camp. And please remember to purchase your season and single game tickets for the 2015 season right here on stlouisrams.com.